Hey guys, it's Chris here from Chris's Creative Life and I design workshops that help you create beautiful layouts from start to finish with easy to follow guides. And we are back for another in the series of the Remember Today Cut Above Kit assembly videos. So we are at the like halfway point now. Today we're going to, I am going to assemble layout number seven. So I'm gonna put you down on my desk and we'll get started. So here we go on to number seven, which is this layout right near here, remember today. So like I said, I'm trying to keep it relatively close to the cut above kit but I did grab some silver embellishing thread. I think I'm gonna use in each of the clusters and then the black and white dots. So here is our sticker sheet and I'm just gonna pull the white back in up. And then I will add my photos to their mats and get started here. So this is a prime example of um, why I do this when I'm doing other things. So you can see how thick this remember looks, but look how skinny the actual stickers are once you peel off the um, front piece. So uh, it just, it helps you gauge, right? Um, the actual spacing and sizing for a sticker versus just looking at it the other way on this sheet where you'll think it's quite thick. Okay, so I have two photos here of my mother-in-law, one with each of my kids because those are the best. Here's the photo mats for those. So I'm just going to punch these out and I'll put them in the general spot where we're going to add them. And then we will get assembling here. So one leaf down here and a pink flower. The butterfly goes up at the top. And then we have two flowers for over here. Oh, the orange flower goes down here. There we go. I'm like, wait a second, uh, I don't have the right color, but I was getting ahead of myself there. Okay, so I'm just, I've done this before. I just kind of lay them in the spots where they're gonna go. And then it just helps me know if like I wanted to add something to the cluster. Like I said, I'm gonna add some silver embellishing thread. Okay, and then we have this background piece here. So, I'm gonna lay that in first because it is the back piece. So I'm just adding my page down here on my Versamat. And you can see the measurements off to the side to make it easy to assemble. So they're saying like, two and an eighth and then just shy of four so one two three four so right about here is perfect and if, they, if you notice here too the gingham kind of can help you line up it so that you know you're straight i can see i'm like across the two even here. Okay, so next up I'm going to add my photos and then we'll work on the clusters because I know I want them raised up, right? So I'll add my photo onto the white mat and then I'm gonna add them onto the green here. So 
So this is also one of those really good examples of things that they can do with a cut above kit that's a little bit harder for um, you to do with um, just regular paper. Obviously, this doesn't go all the way over and it's not so many layers of paper, right? To recreate this yourself, you would have one as the black piece on the background. Then you'd have a piece of white daisy on top. So that's two layers. This makes it three layers. So it gets much bulkier, right? Versus for the calendar, you want it relatively light. So um, that's the nice part about these three layers being just a single layer. So there we go. Also, you know, like all of my photos are mostly of people along the way, a few animals that I don't think we've come across yet. But um, you don't also, you don't have to put people in your photos. They could be pictures of your gardens, outdoor pictures, um, pet pictures like we will see eventually from me too. But um, they don't necessarily have to be people. Okay, so... Now I think I'm going to put in my title and then, oh no, because I want it to overlap my photo. So I'm going to glue these photos down and then we will add the title in. Okay, so now I'm going to add the today down. Be gentle with this one. It is um, a script font and this sticker is quite dainty. It is actually amazing that they can cut these and um, everything comes apart. And it's nice, you don't have to stamp it or do your own uh, hand lettering. Okay, so now I just, I'm centering it as best as I can. I'm touching it down in a few spots before I push it all the way down. There we go. Okay, and then I am going to work my title backwards from about here. And I'm just going to try and evenly space them backwards. You also, if you wanted to, um, when I was talking about um, stamping, if you wanted to alter the titles, you could um, stamp with an alpha a different title on your page. Like if you wanted to say cherish today, right? You could totally just stamp that with some black ink and an alpha so just because that's what they've given you doesn't mean that you can't alter it to suit your photographs we could have added a little bit of splatter to the background there's lots of things you can do if you want things to try and coordinate better with photographs that maybe you are using instead of what they have as their sample or I'm using, there's always ways to 
make it work. And really, it doesn't really matter in the long run. I'm sure everybody will just love having photographs anyway. So I'm just going to put one of the hearts here for right now. Okay, so now I'm going to just do the little clusters of embellishing thread. So this is just the silver embellishing thread I picked. There's also gold. I'm just going to um, take off a length. I'm just, I don't necessarily want it perfectly straight. I just want it unkinked a little bit. So I'm just gonna cut three lengths because I'm gonna put one in each of these three clusters. I'm just going to wrap it around my fingers once we're done this. I always seem to manage to get it coming undone from both ends, even though one is supposed to lock in. So there's two lengths and just one more here. There we go. That's three. So it just adds a nice little um, extra texture without adding any bulk. So, there we go, and glue dots. So I'm just taking them, wrapping it around my fingers to the approximate length that I want, and I can pull on one end to get a few different lengths there. I'll just add it onto a glue dot, press it down, and then I'll do the other two. And then they're all ready to go. And if I need to, I'll trim up the ends when I stick them down. There's two, so I'm just pushing the part where they're all connected onto the glue dot. Okay, and a last one. There we go. So now I'm going to start up here and I'm going to do the leaves flat along with the orange. There we go, and now I can just pull off one of my little clusters here. And if I feel anything needs to be trimmed, I can trim it at this point. Those glue dots are good and sticky. Okay, and so now I can add these two in. One, I'll just add a little bit of thin 3D foam tape, and the second one I'll just raise up with some thicker stuff. So I'm gonna add the thin one in first. I know I want this to overlap, so I'm just going to add the thicker 3D foam tape just off to this side. 
So the top of the other, the left hand side will lay over top of the yellow flower. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna add this little cluster in. I thought these photos were perfect with my mother-in-law's shirt with all the flowers on it. Okay, so I'm just laying this down so I can see where I want this lemon. And then again, I'm just going to tuck in one of these clusters of embellishing thread. Okay, and so here is where, like I've got some crazy ends. So I'm just gonna trim them up a little bit. And this will all settle down once I actually add my next layer on top. I'll get it going all in the right direction. There we go. So I'll add some 3D foam to this piece. There we go. And now we just have this, this last cluster to add on and then we'll add in the hearts and the um, black and white dots. So, and I am altering it. I want this, so they have this cluster quite low down here and I'm actually gonna push mine up a little bit so that it frames them more like that. So, Add those in and then my last little bundle of embellishing thread here. Okay, and this I'm gonna just put on a thin dot. And then the butterfly, I'm gonna do the same trick that I've done before with other butterflies along the way, and I'm gonna put 3D foam tape on him, her. And curl the wings. So this time I'll do it with my bone folder because I don't have my piercing tool on my table. So I'm just kind of gently, remember it's paper, right? So you don't want to um, rip it. So I am just being gentle. And I'll just add some thin foam tape behind the butterfly's body and add it right in here. Okay, so now we just have the last of these heart stickers here, and then the dots. So, just 
just kind of trailing up the page there. One down here. One just off here. One just nestled up here. And then another one just over here. So now, I'm just going to add them into each of the three clusters that are already created just for like I said another texture here and I decided just to use the white ones on this just the black is super the title is black so I want the title to read just like the title and not have the black dots on parts of the layout pulling away from the title. So that's why I decided to just go with the white ones. So there we go. That is, and the silver embellishing thread is just little bits in each of the clusters and it just makes it look just so pretty. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. So like I said, that was number seven. We're halfway done. So watch for the other videos coming soon. And if you want to see the close-up pictures of the layout, they will be posted on my blog at thechrisscreativelife.com. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Here are some still photos from my layout today. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next time.